Hello and welcome to a little bit different video on the channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at the imposter syndrome. We all have it, but we need to understand that it's normal and that we're not alone and we need to understand how we can deal with it. So my question for this video for you is what kind of imposter are you? One of the most common imposters is the expert imposter where you think you should know everything about your field and you feel that if there's anything in the field that you do not know or that you need to learn then you consider yourself an imposter don't do that it's not the case you're not an imposter you always need to learn new things to be on top of your game and to be good at your job you need to progress always another kind of imposter is the soloist What's the soloist? Well, it's when you think that if you're asking people for help, that makes you less of a professional. That's why you try to do every task alone, without relying on others, and without asking for help. Don't do that. You have teams, and you should work in teams to achieve the end goal of delivering a good product for your customers. You're not alone. One of the most common imposter syndromes is the super person, where you need to be the best at what you're doing. And that's why you feel that if you're not the best, if you had any shortcomings, if you had any issues at any time, um, you feel like it's not worth it. You feel like you're not good enough for the job that you're doing. That's not correct. You will get better in time and you always need to get better to be good at the job. So you're not an imposter. The perfectionist. The perfectionist is one of the most difficult ones to, to understand that um, things can happen that you didn't plan for. The perfectionist thinks that if there's anything that they missed, if the work delivered wasn't on par, if they had a bad day, if they felt sick, if they felt ill, then that's, that affected their work in a way that, well, it wasn't perfect. For these kinds of uh, imposters, don't worry. You are allowed to have bad days. You're only normal. You're only human. So don't worry. You're not an imposter. The last one which I want to talk to you about is the genius. The genius is the kind of person that thinks, well, I'm a genius in my field. Um, so if this task that is given to me I, is not easily solvable, then I'm a fraud. Well, that's not correct. Even geniuses struggle sometimes. Even geniuses have things that they need to learn. New methods to do things. Improvements. They discover new, new things. So if you're in this category, do not worry. You're not an imposter. So thank you for watching this video. And I want to ask you to put in the comments, which kind of imposter are you? What are you struggling with in regards to imposter syndrome? And try, please, try not to struggle. Try to ask for help. Because as you saw until now, there are many ways people see themselves as imposters. And at the end of the day, you are not an imposter. As always, thank you for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.